Okay. There we go. We're recording. There. Okay. So Raquel, um, Rohina Poan Tokuch. Look at the Pitakani Pitani. So we have the habitual on one side and the completive on the other side. We are wrapping up the verbs, the habitual and the, the past tense, the completive. So we're going to go over these as a review and then go to the Hinu. So Rohina Puan Tokuch, can you read please those um, on that page, just right there, Pitakani? Pitakani, I am walking. Rapuka, you are sleeping, female singular. Saraki, you are praying. Okay, now Mas you go to the other, uh -huh, masculine. masculine singular. Okay, now what, um, maybe read, you read across because you can see I am walking, I walk. Do you see it like that? That one is the habitual and one is the completive. Okay, Pita Kani, uh -huh. I am walking. Pitani, I walked. Rapuka, you are sleeping. Rapa, you slept. Uh, Saraki, you are praying. Sari, Sarai, Sari? Sari, uh -huh, Sari. Sari. Uh -huh. You prayed. Okay. Uh, Mali, Puhina, Puan, Tokuch, Lekati, 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 Leti. She can hear me or she's able to see. Okay, you want me to read? Uh huh, yes. The two, the um, Lekati, Leti. So we're showing the comparison, a contrast of the habitual and the completive, mm -hmm. different persons. Uh huh. So in the one, I'm not in, sure what to read. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, uh, Ryan. Next page. Uh, oh, sorry. Okay. Sara, Sara, uh, Sara. I'm sorry too. Okay. So lekat, lekati, lekati. She gets lost. Leti. She got lost. And then the um, uh, Niyuk, Niyuk, or Niyuk? Niyuk, he believes. Niyui, he believed. Okay, and you see the endings there. You see the T and the we. You see the endings and how they compare in all the ones we've done so far. So now we have, we have a dual, and I'm Janae. So, um, Rohina Puan Tokuch dual, and we have the habitual and we have the completive dual, two persons. Um, Wachi Gina. Huh? Uh, we two are fighting. Wach Ina, we two fought. Huh. Uh, Saku Kina. Uh, you two female duo are eating. Sak in, or Sakina, you two eight female duo. Okay, now I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of divide them up. Okay, uh, Raquel. The next one's Patak. Patak Wina, you two are falling male duo. Pata mm -hmm. Wina, you two fell male duo. Raha. Wait, ra, ra, uh, ra, 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 they two are combing their hair, feminine dual. Ra, ha, sina, they two combed their hair, feminine dual. Hmm. Wait. Okay. We sakuna. We sakuna. We sakuna. They two are jumping male duel. We una. They two jumped male duel. Okay. Um. Inya uh, Let's see. Katamali. Did is Molly still there or? 
No. no. She had to go away. Maybe something. Okay, yeah, Janae. She might have disconnected or something. Yeah, it's all kind of problems still. Okay, Janae. Shimikite. Shimikite or Shimikiti. We are playing Shimi or Shimiti. We play. Did I lose everybody? That... We're there. I'm here. Uh -oh. Okay, Janae. Uh -huh. Yeah, um, I hear you. We hear you, Ryan. Is he, is he frozen? Is he's he frozen? frozen? Maybe. Oh, Rat. No, Rati. Yeah, Rati. He's frozen. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay, there we go. I'm Tishlina. back. Tishlina froze him. Ook, Rati. Tishlina froze him. Okay, I hope not. <laughs> Okay. So Yalakiti, Yalakiti, Yalakiti. Okay. Yala uh, you all, be, uh, feminine plural, are leaving. Uh huh. Yalakiti. You all, feminine plural, slipped. Okay, Mali. Hipukwiti. I hope she's able to. Yeah, Mali's back. Mali. The Hippocwiti. Maybe she's having problems with the, uh, did she say something in chat here? Did you see? Elva joined the, okay, okay. That was about Elva Ramirez. I think it was Elva Ramirez, sorry. Okay. Um, so Molly, can you hear me? Maybe having problems still. I guess Raquel will go ahead. Uh, you could do the hippoquiti and hippoquiti. Hippoquiti, you all are dancing, male plural. Hippoquiti, mm. you plural. all I might dance. I have stable internet, sorry. Mm. Male plural. Roru city, Roru city. They are learning, feminine plural. Roru city, they learned, feminine plural. Huh? Erukata, Erukata. Uh -huh. They are laughing, male plural. Eruta, they laughed. Okay. And if you were to look at that chart, if you have your paper copy on page 50, and remember when you were in school and you would underline, you could find all the endings, you could find all the endings of, of the habitual as well as the endings. If you look at the other column for the completive, okay, I see. Molly says she thinks she's back, but very uh, laggy. She says lagging behind. Okay, so Hachi to okay. So let's look at the Hinu, and um, we could do Atepe. We could do together Atepe. Uh, and let's see. So. This one says, this is a dual here. Uh, you see in the, uh, you have a masculine dual with the example, kanak yauna. And um, it says yol una, kanak yauna, yauna, and it's a, uh, Masculine, masculine duo, and the two of them, the two of them, what did the two of them do? And it says the two of them left. Yaluna, Yaluna. So number one, instead of just dividing these up, let's try and do them together. Kanuk Yaina, Yaina, okay. And it says, it's the Yaina. This may be an error here. It's really supposed to be. What are we? Yeah, it's supposed to be the female. See, Yaina, what, what did we do? And well, when they answer in like, put uh, the Hina and the ending of it. We yeah, I'm looking at it. Yeah, I'm no. looking at it because I think it's uh, yeah, that's it's wrong. Supposed, yeah. Hotusina? Hotuhina. Hina. Okay, 
Uh -huh. What do you have, Ryan? We had corrected this too. We'd seen it as a mistake. Turn the light on. No. Uh -huh. Let's see. But the question is like, what did we do? And so yeah, you would answer you like, so you yeah. all like you two did this, right? Like, yes, uh huh. You two, and it's the yeah. Uh, yeah. What did you have, Ryan? There because we did correct it. Uh, I mean, it just says if female. So I mean, the dual and the plural for the ending would be the same. Hope, hope, uh -huh. Um. Right. Yeah, but so that's what it would be. It's you're long. Asking themselves, it's ho uh, uh, we'll have to get with Meg and see what we did for this one. Yeah, leave this one alone because that there's definitely an error, and that should be that should have been uh, edited. So let's let's skip that one. But what would be the answer? Like the answer says, what did? I mean, if they're asking somebody else of what they did, it would be, it would have you, to be hope for you. Yeah, the, what did the two of you do? Yeah. yeah. I mean, what did you do? Uh, the two of you did, and it's the feminine. You too. So it would be. Isn't it Hina? Hot. It would be hot, and you would drop it hot. Say. I'm, I'm not feeling well because I had the second vaccine. I'm like, it's not right tonight. Let's see, hot ina, yeah, hot ina, it should be. Yep. Hot ina, yes, hot ina. So just yeah, give me a little. To specify if they're asking somebody yeah. else in this or. Yeah. Yeah, because, yeah, that's just, but don't let it confuse you, please, please. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, Ili, Ilita, the second one. Kanak ya wina, kanak ya wina. <sighs> So what are you two mask or yeah masculine uh -huh. dual? What are you doing? Yeah, okay. Oh, I what did you do? What did you do? Mm -hmm. What did the two of you do? Oh, <sighs> so you have we two did what? So we two we two Ina? sat Ukina Ho Lapu. Perfect. Lapu. Lapu can mean good, but it can also mean perfect or correct. Lapu mm -hmm. can be, be perfect and uh, Lapu could be correct. Like I would, you know, I would say that in on my French or Spanish classes as well. Correct. Like, uh, you know, uh, using the Lapu there. Inik. Kanak Yasina. Kanak Yasina. And Yasina is what did... Okay, Yasina is um, they two feminine duo. They two, uh huh. They two, yes, uh huh. So what did they do? And when you have a they question, what do you answer? Mm. About them. So the answer is also going to be with Ina. Ina so Warusina. Warusina, huh? Because you asked, what did they do? They studied Warusina. The answer. So the, the, the other one that's that, that number A, Waruk, Warukina, is that they plural instead no, of they two? Well, Waruksina is actually the habitual. That's the habitual. And they two. The uh, just two, it's dual, but Waruksina would be the habitual, not the completive. This one is uh, with the completive here. These all appear to be completive, you know, past tense, okay? The Waruxina is the habitual. So you say, yaksina, kanak yaksina, what are they doing? They are studying, Waruxina. But here it says, kanak yasina, Waruxina. That's not confusing, is it? No? no I get it. It's okay, yeah. And it, no question is um is uh to you know every question is good. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say, okay. Don't be embarrassed to ask because I need to know if if uh you know uh Hirosan, if you understand Hirosan, if you understand. Okay, Hirosan means you understand. Erusa means I understand. 
Erusa. Okay. Monk. Kanak Yaina. Kanak Yaina. Okay. Yaina. We doing? Okay. Okay. Kanak Yaina. Yeah, like what did what, what did we do? What are we doing? Yes. Uh huh. What did we do? Uh huh. Uh, Were you on um, the two of you? Uh huh. What is it? The two of you. Is it Yonani Yaina? Actually, it's going to be your Yanni. Yawina. Yeah, Yawina. 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 You two. Yeah. What did what did uh, we two do? You two. I know it's kind of odd. The question. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to figure out what the subject. So, your Yanni. Yawina. I think I understand. Because huh? it says if males. It says yeah. if males. So yeah, like if males are asking like. What did we do? Like if the men are asking. Yeah, what did we do? The first person doesn't and, have that. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, what did we do? Because we could be masculine or feminine. It was something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I and see that. Yes. Male, then it would have to be second person, I think. Yeah, it would have to be that. Yo yani, yo yani, Meaning, yes. Mm -hmm. So what did you do? The two of you worked. And your yani, ya, means your yani is job or work, as in the noun, and ya, to do. And it's a fixed expression. We have other fixed expressions, but your yani, ya, means uh, to do work or to work. Your yani, ya, it's uh, two words that make a fixed expression. Okay, sink. So it's always a good question and good. Let me know when you see something. Kanak Yahina. Kanak Yahina. What did you two do? Okay. Yahina. And that's, uh, let's see. Okay. I'm so it would be Hapina, like we did this, or? Yahina. Yahina. Huh? Oh. Huh? So, uh, what did the two of you do, huh? And what is the correct answer there? What do you think? We stopped. We yeah. Uh huh? Uh -huh. Hapa is stop. We stopped. Okay. So what is the form? And it's on the reverse page. You see, we two stopped. So what is the answer there? Which one of it is it? And it's a completive. Hop Ina. Hop Ina, huh? Uh huh. Hop Ina. Yes. It's a B, uh huh. Hop Ina, huh? What does that mean? We stop. We two stopped. Stopped. Yeah, just stopped. Uh huh. <laughs> Sometimes you have to use the word hotu too, which means like all. It's finished. Like finished. You know, hotu. Uh, but here's just stopped. Yeah, we stopped. Stop doing something. I know some of the sentences as examples in the dialogues are, or in the exercise are a little uh, strange or ambiguous, but it just means we stopped. Hapa is stop. Also, hapa can be used like you take a break. Hapa as a noun could be a break or a stop. You know, to stop to, to doing something. Okay, now. Okay, or to come back. Okay, now we're going to Luchi Peretake, Atepe. I think it's best we do these together. Like I said, we hadn't, we didn't have class last week, and some of y'all, because of the winter, two winter storms here in Louisiana and in Texas that we haven't had in years. So we're going to Atepe together. Let's do these together. They too returned. Now let's, what is the verb for return? What is the verb? Oh, oh. Right. I like to come back, yaka. Yes, yaka, mm -hmm. yaka. Okay, now we need to say they too, and it's masculine dual. If you have- so Would it be yakuna? 
Yuck una, perfect, lapu, perfect. I just love when y'all catch on. It makes me feel so good. That because you drop, you drop that A, and when you have a, a U, right, starting or something? Right, the, the vowel blending. The U is best, or do, or dominant. A plus U becomes U, yes. The A yeah. plus becomes U. That's one of your vowel blendings, right. And that's good, you say U is dominant, that's good, say that. Okay, now, Ili, and this could be anybody, Kaku, Kaku, you know, anybody. Kaku means who or whoever, someone. Kaku, K-A-K-U, no. someone. She got lost, and that is a completive. Leti. So, Leti. Leti. Yeah, T is the Leti. feminine ending for the completive, T. When you see that, you recognize that it's feminine. Leti, she got lost. Huh? Okay. You worked. And we're going to use that, uh, you know, the, the fixed expression that I told you. And it's masculine plural. Masculine plural. You worked. Um, yo, oh, yo, yani, uh, Let's see, you worked. Yo, Yanni, ya. Oh, okay, Molly's Nina. right. That's how? how do you say it? Yo, yeah. Yanni, ya, we na. Molly was right. Mm -hmm. You, and it's masculine. It says you, masculine plural. Let's see. Wouldn't it be you? It's, uh, it's Plural, masculine plural. Yo, Yanni, yata. No, that's the day. That's the day. Oh, okay. you, you, all of you worked. Oh, all of you, you all worked. We tea home. Oh, we tea. You'll get used to these. Like Molly, Molly's a transcriber, and so she sees different things when she's working as a transcriber. For um. Oh, okay. So look. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh-huh. Look so on I'm, your chart, yeah. I'm page 50, second person. Right. Fifth, second person part. Yeah, uh-huh. Okay. So, okay. I looked yo, at duo. Yeah, that's okay, because that happens. Yo, Yanni, ya, witi. Yo, Yanni, ya, witi, home. You all, masculine plural, worked. Now that masculine plural can also mm. be a group they don't always include it but we know that it can be a mixed group of males and females okay keep that in mind and monk they too feminine dual learned they too feminine Boru dual Shina. Boru okay. Shina. That right? yeah they too feminine dual waru sina huh waru sina huh waru sina huh waru sina they too, feminine dual, learned. It can also be study. Sina, you too. Sina, they too learned. Now, sink, sinkuta, the fifth one. You too, feminine dual, finished. Oh, oh. Hotu, uh huh, finished. Hotu. Hotu. No, hotu. Huh? Feminine dual. Feminine dual. Yeah, you two feminine dual. Hina. Wait, yeah, H I N A. Okay, you have, yeah, you can either say Hotuhina or you can say Hot Ina. Hot, hot Ina. Ina. Hot Ina. Or you can say the, or we keep the H, which we like to do because it doesn't get confusing and say Hotuhina. Okay? Hotuhina. Hina. Oh, Hotuhina. Which is Hotuhina. Oh. Okay. Now, so, uh, Terashki Tirishi, the next page, Ryan Tokuch. Oh, oh. No, and don't have my phone handy to see the time. So we, we finish after uh, this and we go to the whiteboard or no? It's, uh, it's uh, 5.30, right? Well, 5.29, but. Okay, okay. Well, we still have uh, time then. Um, okay, just let me know because you want to do the whiteboard that, okay, uh, Atepe. Niuwina, what does that? Kanaka lochi ingras kichu. 
What is that in Tunica? You two thought. Okay. Okay. The two. Yes. Yeah, you two. Yes. Did you say you two thought? Home. Yeah. Masculine. Okay. Yeah. You two, two masculine. Uh huh. Yes. Masculine do uh, thought. Okay. Ilita. Ilita, the second one. Hmm. We felt. We, we all. Okay. Hmm. All, huh? All of who? Yeah, like all plural felt. felt. Like we all felt. Yes, we all fail, or all of us fail. Uh huh. All of us fail. Pata. Pata is to fall. Upatite. Upatite. All of us fail. Okay. Now, uh, Inikuta, the third one. Uk e. Uk e. Uk e. Uk e. Is it she? So that's going to be. Or yes. She, okay, sat or remained, uh huh. Sat or remained, like stayed somewhere. Sat? Would that, would that be like you? Is that you? Second person? That is, oh yeah, you. I'm sorry, you remained. Sorry, Sana. You, you know, remained. Remained. Yeah, because it's going to be uki, which is U K I, and the completed and the for a. that you is the A. I plus A becomes your epsilon a. E. Yeah. Eh, uh huh, eh, a. like a smart mm -hmm. E sound. Eh, uh huh. Shut up. I'm not going to make excuses, but like I said, I had the second dose on uh, Tuesday and I'm still not wrong <laughs> for the, uh, the virus and I'm still not, I'm kind of off, off balance. I'm sorry. I have it right in front of me and then I didn't even say. Mankuta, the fourth one. Le una, le una. Le una. We, we got lost. lost. We we both got lost. Uh huh. We, yes, we, we two or we both got lost. Uh huh. We two, we both got lost. Now there is a word for both, and it's oh. not, but I'm trying to let me see if I can find it. Give you the exact spelling because when Molly said both, there's a word. It's a m. For both, it's A M I L T A. That means both. A M I L T A. Amilta means both. When here, you know, Amilta. we two got Amilta. Amilta, uh -huh. Amilta means both, uh huh. Just to know. Okay. Sincuta, the fifth one. Worina, Worina. We, we two studied. studied. Okay, Worina. And there's no, I had to say the two of Waru to learn to study Ina, we, yes. we too. Wouldn't that be like Wor Ina? That's Worina, that's the two of you because there's no glottal, see? There's no glottal. Oh. Oh. Yeah, and you drop the U. There's Waru, but you drop the U. You have Worina, there's no glottal. So that makes a difference. Worina would be the two, we two, but Worina with no glottal is you two, feminine dual. It makes a difference. Now, Ryan, if we have time, we could um, do the Tuwa Tasi Wat A, the Owl Mammoth story. If not, um, do we have time or we need time for the whiteboard? I mean we're at 534 right now. Uh, uh -huh. But I actually got a quick question uh -huh. about the class that I'll be teaching Tuesday or Monday. Tuesday, uh, neologisms on Monday. Yes. Um, if any of our 17 plus students are available, can they attend it too? Or is that just for the apprentices? Sure. I think they could attend it. I think they could attend if they're available, if they're able to attend. Yeah, um, yes. No, that get them associated with the other apprentices. Right, and it's 10, it's 10 to 11, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. our time, Marksville time on uh, Monday. Ryan's going to be teaching that class. 
and neologisms and creating new words oh, for the Dictionary. Creating new words, okay. Oh, yay. <laughs> Rapu Higpeiri, I think sleep is overcoming. I think you're tired, Raquel. Higtokoni, <laughs> <laughs> huh? You're tired? Higtokoni? A little bit. Oh, oh, see that. You said 10 a.m.? 10, yeah. uh, 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., yes. And we'll let uh, Elizabeth know. We can send you, the, uh, send you the link for the class, too. We would send them the I'll link. I'll have a, a college class at that time. Okay. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah. I'll bring it up to the, uh, mm -hmm. uh, well, I'll bring it up with the apprentices tomorrow during class to see if they're okay with uh -huh. others coming in for that class. I think it's fine. I have no class think... Tuesday. Yeah, oh, Tuesday, we, well, we'll have a neologism class, but I'll be leading it, but Ryan can always help me with it too. So we're having neologisms all next week. Yeah, because we're missing a lot of words. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of words. We need, we need to, you know, there's so many. Every day there are new words. Every day. So, mm -hmm. you gotta, we have new words every day. It changes. Yep. Things are invented. Things are, uh, terms I, come out. In huh? class today, I was trying to think of the word for popcorn. We don't have a word for popcorn, which... Actually, I think I used it wrong. I should have used the completed form of uh, pop or to pop yeah. because it's already popped. So, pop. And then when you said like the tukang, that reminds me of like the, um, even the French speaking here, the older people years ago, that would be like the gun, tukang, you know, like that, the sound of a, like a shotgun or something. That's what it sounds like when you make the sound for the popcorn, you know, but that's right. It's like onomatopoeia. So if we have a few minutes, we can. Uh, yep, we're at five thirty-seven. So. Yeah. So we'll do the uh, tasiwa, and um, tasiwa is a hudal mammoth, and actually here in uh, we's in Marksville in a Boyle's parish, we still have some very large owls. And before we read this, I wanted to tell you that my uh, daughter Zabet had the dog. His name is Bibi. He was a lap dog. He was white with no spots. He had one big spot on his back. And one night she went outside, and this is not pretend, the two owls were trying to get him, like go down on him. Oh, so yeah. We... Um, I got an LED oh, collar for my puppy. So when, when I take him out at night walks, I can find him if he gets away from me. A huge horned owl swooped down from the tree and tried to snatch him. No. Yeah. Hey, so remember when grandma used to walk right around right. with a shotgun in uh -huh. Wisconsin? <laughs> so nobody would take her little dash hound. <laughs> She's like, I'm doing it for the hogs. So okay. Yeah. Careful there. <laughs> I'm all so about the hustle, animals. That's the first time I could say I've ever punched an owl. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> and so what what I was saying is that mythical animals are not, I mean, some of these animals in the story, um, and because lots of our, still lots of Oboyle's parish is uh, undeveloped. You know, we, we have woods and- My, uh, my yeah. favorite mythical creature we have is Aspa, Aspa Talamita, uh, Tal the death blanket. What? <laughs> it, it's a, we, when we found about it, it, it was a clear being that sits on the beach and waits for somebody to come by and then it just envelops them and drags them into the sea. And like a big because, joke. That's my new nickname. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. Ask for a lot to meet them. And, and then, yeah. of octopus or jellyfish? Yeah, that's, yeah, what, I that's what I was thinking. Jellyfish, but. So, yeah, and that, then, I was going to ask if there's a word for jelly. Because like I called my daughter Jelly because of her name, Jelena B. So um, I call her Jelly Bean. But like, is there a word for like jelly or jellyfish? Like then like, I guess that would probably. Well, lamita is kind of like a snail is like oh, slimy yeah. and soft. That's mm. lamita. lamita. I want to say we have jam. Yeah, or it's like a jam, whatever. Jam or preserves or something like that. Ooh. Lamita is soft. So. Um, okay, can write that down actually. No, we don't. But we no, can we come, we have to come up with a word for that. But lamita and, is like soft and mushy. 
So it's kind of mm. like jelly. Huh? Oh, and That's then um, my son's name, we call him Sonny because he's uh -huh. Santino. So his nickname is yeah. Sonny. So is there a word oh. for like S-U-N-N-Y, like the sun or not the sun, but like, like yeah. Sunny. Like, yeah, we got yeah. right outside. Um, Mer like maybe? Mira Miracati? Yeah. Miracati. Yeah, because like, even with the sun, it takes on a feminine aspect. But since yeah, it looks like yeah, it looks like we got onto the whiteboard. <laughs> yeah. Since you're calling so, your son that, though, would it be Miraku? Oh, Mira, yeah, Miraku, yeah, Miraku, because he's uh, yeah, masculine. That sounds like hey, look at hey, <laughs> Mira, Miraku. Yeah. yeah, like look at him. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes, oh. Turn it up. Miraku. So. Yeah, Miraku. <laughs> Mirakati would be, because uh, that's the sun itself, because the sun is feminine. But sunny, mm -hmm. you know, bright. Or oh, Likata. Likata is like shining, like bright and shining, too. Likata. Oh, my, uh, Mira, Mirakati. M-I-R-A. I guess oh. we got it on the whiteboard. Maybe next time we'll do the Tasiwa story, since yeah. we're already on board um and i'm gonna sing the tasiwa song for y'all too mira to be uh, outside uh, and what did i say oh uh likata l-i l-i k-a-h t k-a-h likata uh-huh sparkly or bright bright and bright uh-huh likata okay okay Okay, what else? I learned we, how to we, change the colors. On um, the <laughs> we don't have a word for diaper or pamper. <laughs> oh, 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 um, I think we did do something for diapers, didn't we? With the cloth, it's the yeah, cloth. Yeah, like the breech cloth. The cloth. Yeah, like uh, the like a breech cloth, but it's for the baby. If you can find it, if not, um, and you know, uh, when my son, my son's gonna be. 43. So I use cloth diapers, but now they're paid, but we have to use, that's the word we have is like a tira, like a body cloth kind of, you know, the baby. And we have eti wakuni. Do you have that, uh, Ryan? Yeah, eti wakuni is a breech cloth. So okay. eti wakuni toke? Yes, uh -huh, it could be like that. Because uh, for the baby, uh, tostok is the baby, but go ahead. Uh, and you know what they use years ago, they used for the baby, uh, for the diaper, they used um, moss here, like the moss, Spanish moss, they called it. It looks oh, like pretty. in the trees, on the cypress trees, and it looks, they'd actually call it, in French, they call it the span when the, the conquistadors came and they had like the beard, they call it la bar uh, barba española. Barba Española, like the beard of the conquistadors. And uh, they use that moss, uh, which grows in the trees. And Ryan would know exactly what that's called when it's, um, it's like, you know, from the air, uh, like a, an air plant, but it just. Yeah, uh, I, <laughs> I, know. I know the technical word. I just can't think of it right now. Yeah, but. Because I, I just had the, or I'm redoing the gex cage right here and there in an arboreal species so I, I ordered a whole bunch of arboreal arboreal yeah arboreal okay so the moss grows in the trees in the cypress trees especially and it was used here for the babies for the diaper that's what was used mm -hmm. and it also made you could use spanish moss you can make a fishing net with you can make rope with um, God, I, I learned a lot about Spanish dolls. Moss. Yeah, the dolls. We made dolls at the camp. I learned a lot about Spanish moss last week from Mr. Pete, so, or Dr. Pete. And, yeah, and they used it too. Here, they had a moss gin, so the people would pick moss, and they'd bring it to the moss gin, and they'd use it to stuff mattresses and pillows. But I was just saying, think about the diaper, and that's what was used. Itiwakuni tok is like a little breech cloth. That's the yeah. diaper. Okay. I don't know what a breech cloth looks like. It was pretty much to cover. Yeah, it was that that piece of cloth that would hang Covering. in front of a guy's area. 
And the back too. It would yeah, come and in the back. back. I mean, yeah, they, yes. they accept the back end. Yeah. <laughs> My artistic yeah. skills. <laughs> okay. Just imagine he said, okay. So um uh, sticking or anybody? Anything else? Oh, is there a word for jellyfish or no? Like jam or jelly? I want to say during one of our summer camps, because we had a water themed one, someone came up with one for jellyfish. Because I don't, I don't um, have mine. Crawfish is the the swimming score or the swimming scorpion or something like that. A snail, that's what I said, is a um like the lamita, but let me see, because um let me actually jellyfish. Because I think we have it saved in our Google Docs area. Might be able to find it in the. Yes. Just thought about that. I that was. Word for snail. Oh, God. What summer camp was the water themed one? Was that 2019 or 2018? Oh, Wishy Wishy Katotu. Maybe 2018. Maybe. Oh, it might be, it might have been Scorpion, actually, Liz. That uh, It was uh, Joshua. Donna. That, yeah, Donna. So Uchira, Uchira Lamita is a snail. And Uchira, I'm trying to see, trying to find it in here. So do you know how many words we go over in a day, Liz? <laughs> mm. Yeah. Do you guys have a word for like um like a drunk person? Like a drunk or somebody who drinks? I mean we have a oh, word. Oh yeah, we do. Drunk. Yeah, we do. That's one that we do, Lion Ryan Lion. Oh, listen to me. I'm a little off. Oh, we I am not getting that vaccine. Look at you. <laughs> You're a mess. <laughs> we do have a word like that. We do. We do. Uh, <laughs> it's pitu. Wait, that's two. Uh, Only pitu. Only pitu. It's pitu, but you'd put. Oh. Um, if it's a, uh, you'd put. It's a what person. Is? is pitu, but do you? Is it a male? You're talking about. Is it a male or a female? Yeah, for a male. U U H K, Ryan, but to be intoxicated, he's drunk. No, uk. Okay, pitunik is what Elizabeth's saying. Uk pitu, but pitu has an H um in front of the T. Just an H in front of the T. P I H T U N I. Uh huh. That means to be crazy too, right? And I, it's yeah. crazy or intoxicated, both. Uh huh, both. Okay. Yeah. Amita. Yeah, work for both. <laughs> or, Amita. Or just work for work. See. Uh -huh. Rekani, Rekani means tipsy. Yeah, you found that one? Yeah. Let's see. So, let's see. Um, I'm trying to find the, uh, the water theme summer camp because somebody took okay. a picture of all the neologisms we made. If they don't have one or if you can't find one, Oh okay. yeah, Rekani. Okay, Rekani, you're gonna put the hook in front of it. If the guy is like it, you put the UHK. If it's somebody that's uh tipsy, so re cani, you put hook in front of it's a guy. If it's a girl, it's T I H K Tik Rekani. So that's tipsy, Ryan. Uk Rekani, Tik Rekani. R E K A N I. Yes. R I N. Oh, wait, is that an epsilon E? Because I cannot see it. My dictionary is faded. Yeah, epsilon E. R epsilon E, okay. Re, re, cani. Yeah, epsilon E. Re, cani. And you put uk, uk, tick, re, cani. Re, cani. Okay, R, epsilon E. K, A, N, I. Okay, and I, but you're gonna have to put uk or tik in front of it, just like we did with pitoni. So you're gonna say uk for the male, uk rikani, or tik rikani. She's tipsy, he's tipsy. It's a state, it's a stative, it's a state of, you know, being in a state of, just like the junk or crazy, huh? Rikani. What about rokunini for stingfish? Oh, yeah. Okay. Woku is a fishing, Nini. Well, is, is a jellyfish actually classified as a fish? I don't know. Or is it a, it's not a crustacean? Hmm. hmm. Okay, so 2016 was, 2018 was bugs. 
It must be 2019 was the water then because we didn't do the we didn't do the fire. So you were saying about the what, what did you say the stingray or something? Uh, or can oh Roku Roku yeah okay it's yeah, uh, jellyfishes jellyfishes are um. Yeah, find out more information about it, then we can figure it's out. It's not a fish. Yeah. It's a snidocyte, snidocytes. Mm -hmm. they're, uh, they're not a fish, though. Uh, the hmm. best way to describe an anocyte is it's a collective of cells. It's that, like an invertebrate animal. Like, uh, yeah. I, guess, oh. I don't know. Because, I mean, if you look at a jellyfish, mm. they really don't have a heart. They don't have a brain. No brains. Yeah, no guts, oh really. They so, don't, they, some of them have teeth. Some of them live forever. Oh. Whoa, so what? So how would we <laughs> Lobsters live forever, what? too. So. Like a, you don't even have a word for like a blob, because it's kind of like a blob. You know, they're they're called like Medusa phase of certain gelatinous members of the subphylum Medusozoa. Mm -hmm. What Medusa? Yeah, like the uh, yeah. yeah Wikipedia says that a group of jellyfish is called a smack. Yep. <laughs> called a what? A smack. <laughs> a smack, like a smack. smack. Oh, that's cool. Is there a word for smack? <laughs> I'll just call it smack. For like a, a something like smack, you're saying? Like hit? Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we do have something like that. Let's see. Smack. I can't smack. find the picture of the neologisms. Like, like, a, like a zapping fish. <laughs> it's just like a zapping jelly. I would call an electric eel a zappy eel. fish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is that is there yeah. a word for zap? What about yeah, like, yeah, what about I'm like <laughs> moonfish? Oh yeah, because we have the moon. There's the moon jellyfish. Oh, okay. not a lot of to them. Because I mean, if you break down the jellyfish, there's a lot of them actually. Uh, I wanna say there's two hundred something species of jellyfish that's identified. Yeah. Because you have the lion's mane jellyfish, the moon jellyfish, the box jellyfish, which is the most deadly jellyfish, and it's also the smallest jellyfish in the world. Home uh, jellyfish. Yeah. You have the uh, mm. the star jellyfish. You have the man at war, which is a jellyfish. Mm. Lion's mane. collection of jellyfish. Yeah, there's a lot. Mm -hmm. And they're beautiful. I, I find them fascinating. Yeah. Well, um, I've been stung uh, by one. They scare me now. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Stung by one? Ooh. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't like. Um, to hit mm -hmm. is like when you when you hit the drum or something, peka. But oh, I know right. like something that catches or. Uh, Ooh, I just. How about the drum? Medusa fish. Because they're round like a drum. Oh, drum what? fish. fish. Because mm. around like a drum, and they, they kind of look like one from above. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Do you guys have a, a word that? for um, like clown, or like a joker? Clown, yeah. yeah. Oni clown is oni tawisani. Oni ta wisani. Oni ta wisani. Nemo's a clown. Oh, like a girl. Nemo's a clownfish, though. That's different kind of fish. No, I know. Yeah, that's I was different. Thinking, Jelly does this like makeup, and it's. Like oh. clown inspired, like so she could be like a clown girl. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, wait. I'm, I'm trying getting a uh, joke. Uh, I want to say only call with sunny with sunny. So is that for what is that? Was that would that be for a guy or a girl that on only tell with sunny? That's yeah. like only is a man. Well, it's a person. You can have okay. the cool. Yeah, because it's a. Uh, joking okay. person, but it's a different. Yeah. I'm sorry, we're sunny, always oh, sunny. We sunny, we sun. Wait, okay, just a minute because I'm. I kind of like drum fish for jellyfish because 
even though there's hundreds of different species, they all have that roundness of the top. Yeah. yeah. What sets mm -hmm. them apart is their tentacles. Yep. And the color. And, and their color. Yeah. Because yeah, the only uh, thing you don't good. see around jellyfish is when you go to the midnight zone, where mm -hmm. it's completely black. And that's where, like, they found the, like, the octo uh, octagon looking jellyfish that bioilluminate and everything. So, yeah. A, a majority of them are that round shape. You can't really call it a mushroom because there's different know. kinds of mushrooms. Yeah. yeah. Yaluke is a mushroom. They don't look like a mushroom. Yeah, because yeah, Yaluke is a mushroom. Say, huh? I was going to say like a bowl. Oh, like yeah. a bowl too. Like a bowl. Yeah, like thing. a bowl. On top. Which is um, Kohina Makina, which is a deep vessel. A deep, you know, like a vessel, meaning something that you eat or drink out of. A vessel is a bowl. Kohina, uh, kohina makina is a bowl. Oh, what? I was looking for the word clear or see through, and we don't have one. That's rawa. Oh, wait, that is rawa. That's white. Clear. Uh huh. Yeah. Clear. Yeah. So, like later on, are we going to like try to figure out different names for like specific colors? Well, and, you know, that brings up, because I brought this up to John about establishing a uh, culture and language committee that mm -hmm. can get together and help, you know, when we're coming up with like names and stuff, you know, we can get their advice on it. But I've also been, uh, I was going to bring it up to Donna, Liz and the apprentice group, but starting a neologism group. Like we meet every once in a while. Yeah. Because the other day I was going through yeah. trying to find words that we need and I've been typing it up on an Excel sheet and I'm already at like, 5,000 words. Wow. I know. Well, I was saying, Ryan, could you write the bowl uh, Molly had said about oh, Kohina yeah. Makina? And then the other one, what did we say? Okay. There are always differentiate colors. That's what he's about to say. Makina is M A H M A H K I N A. Uh huh. Makina. Kohina Makina is a deep bowl. vessel. A, bowl. a deep bowl. Deep bowl. Deep. Yeah, deep. Well, deep is bowl ish, but. Put bowl, yeah. Makina just means deep. Just get rid of deep, and it means bowl. A deep oh. vessel, E S S E L. You know, like something you used to eat or yeah. drink. Bowl, that's okay. Right. Bowl or vessel. E S S E L L. Yeah, L L. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but it would be good to have like a neologisms group. That oh yeah, see, Liz good. brought up a good point. There are different ways to differentiate colors, like naku. So that's kind of yeah. like, like the mm -hmm. sun. Yeah. Oh, I said I like shuliki, like orange, like the pumpkin, but not all orange, not all pumpkins are orange. I know that, but mm -hmm. would be like orange. And then mm -hmm. would be a brown, like cafe, 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 you know, like a, a brown for the of coffee. And then yeah. coffee, so brown is black. Uh, I learned yeah. a while ago carrots aren't actually orange. They were bred to be orange. They are originally purple. Oh carrots, huh? Oh. Really, she said red orange. Yeah, red I've seen orange. all sorts of colors. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, yeah. you got originally here, we had white carrots growing here, the wild carrots, yeah. they would call them. So, mm -hmm. but where, yeah, I didn't know that strawberries were white before they mm -hmm. turned. Yeah. After years they, of. They became more appealing when they, they got them to become red. And like they were actually supposed to be sweeter than they are now. Well, see, I find there are white strawberries out there. I find white strawberries taste better than the red ones. Because mm. you got one that actually, you have one strawberry and I've tried growing it so many times. It just does not want to grow for me. <laughs> it's oh, supposed to taste like a pineapple. And I've actually yeah. put my hands on some and it tastes exactly like a pineapple. Wow. <laughs> well, Zabed was saying we have a lot of color compounding. That's how we can make colors too. They just add, right? Like, okay, that makes sense then. Yeah, that too you can do. Or the sha, like we say, pink is mili sha, red ish. Mm -hmm. It's not almost red or somewhat red. Is mili yeah. sha. Show them the sha too, uh, Ryan. Like mili sha. Oh, yeah. Mili sha. Huh? Well, let me know if you find a, a word for just jelly or jam. Yeah, and I. Um, and I'm sure the people they did, you know, they uh, in later years, like in the 30s, they were canning, you know, like using mason jars, canning like figs and oh, because we ate a lot of figs in my when I was growing up, a lot of figs, 
Now I miss it. Every morning we'd have figs when it was the season. Figs, uh, they would uh, uh, stew the figs, kind of like stewed prunes or something. We have a, huh? we have you a do. fig tree at my house. Yeah. <laughs> So you know what that is to eat fig preserves, huh? <laughs> Every yes, day? Yes, they're very good. <laughs> With your biscuit, huh? <laughs> oh, and fig cakes, everything figs. Yeah. And we had a word for fig too. It actually, it's one of, it makes all the fruits. It's uh, fig is the word that other fruits come from, especially from here, tekelu. Mm. So that's uh, other, like tekelu te, is an apple, which is considered a big fig. I wanted to show Molly that because fig being popular here and in, in, the, in the other princes too, and tek elu is, if you had the tek elut a, that's an apple, which is a big fig. So a fig is tek elu, uh-huh. So that's the, the, what was here and the apple, which wasn't, now we had crab apples, you all had, they have the word for that too. I forgot what it is. Uh, uh, not jum, uh, jujum, jujum in French, jujum. It's kind of like some- History fact, a lot of the greens we eat today all originate from one weed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What so weed? Um, Ooh, that's a good question. I would have to go look. Is it at like it. poke weed? Because my dad used no, to go um, poke cause weed. Broccoli, cauliflower, poke salad. Um, Brussels sprouts, cabbage, lettuce. Uh, what else did they say? It was like a good bit of our greens all originated from the same plant, weed. That, that um, depending on what region you same. look at, they farmed it. Because and most of that came from over in Europe. Mm -hmm. We have like the poke salad, which is also in, and we say it in, in Tunica and in French, choucra, like choucra, which is like, choux is like a cabbage, choucra. They use, uh, it's also used for, uh, it's also used for like pelican or something, the name of the animal. But I wanted you to put for, um, about the fig, pek elu is fig. Can you spell that please? T E H K. T E H K. And then a uh, glottal. Glottal. And then an E L U. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh, e L U. E L U. Uh huh. And that means fig. Fig. Tech then you take. Then you take and take a lut a becomes the big fig, which is an apple. Take a lut a. Is a big fig, which is an apple. Let me see if they put in here. It's either apple or peach. I'm sorry, y'all, because sometimes it may, may I, I read things if, or come across things. Mm -hmm. I've been doing this since 1970. <laughs> and honestly, I think if we get a nilogism group together, it will help Patricia mm -hmm. a lot more with her dictionary. Yeah. Okay. She's, working, she's redoing the Tunica dictionary. So that's true. Yes, we always are looking for. Uh, I'm okay. Take a day's apple. I'm also looking up peach just to say because I believe peach is no peach is kiru. It's also like a plum. They use that for plum too, the kiru, but that's okay. I wanted to show her because that means that the original, like the original tree, a tree here, all the some we have so many fig trees and so many, so much with figs. So many figs that we use to make uh, fig preserves. And the oh, big I fig. I'm, okay. I wish it was more ice right now because this humidity is killing me. Yeah. We I have some. Up a storm and my house is 70 degrees. Tijica. Tijica. Tijica it's so cold over like, here. Shut up, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, we were frozen. It's, like, it's, like, last it's, it's really nice out. It's like 40 degrees. It's like beautiful out over here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 40 I, is cold for us. That's you. No, this is this is uh like grilling weather. This is good weather <laughs> for sure. We're good. We got the grill. We got the grill right now for steaks. Heck yeah. Yeah. Ooh. This is cookout weather right here. Somebody was grilling oh, no. last week and I'm like, they got the right. <laughs> <idea."> <laughs> Ooh. 
Rati mm. means frozen. Spelled, huh? Oh, Ma one second, Miss Donna. I got to clock out of work. Oh, yeah, and that's Molly. Saying, I, go ahead. I kind of Ma missed the snow. Yeah, we, it was. Um, I kind of missed looked, the snow. It was beautiful. It looked beautiful. The trees, when the sun came out, and you saw like crystals on the trees. It was kind of nice. I made Me a snowman. Oh. You did? Oh, Onimotini. Onimotini is snowman, uh huh. Onimotini. 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 Okay, we can put snowman, Ryan, if you have a chance. I got a clock out too, but I'll clock Somebody out. Somebody put it in chat for me. I'm, I'm, I got a clock out of work, so I don't get in trouble. Oh, I. Oh, in chat. Okay, set on. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Wait. This says to Elizabeth. <laughs> I just have to. Uh, it says privately though. Uh, you just click on yeah, Elizabeth click. where it says her name and then click on that little box next to it and then just click everyone. All right, well, this is loading. Hold on. Oh, everyone. To everyone. Okay. Oni. 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 Uh, Oni Motini. Oni Motini. Oh, he's writing it. Okay. Mo. M O H. Oh, yeah. Oni and, a, and then K U. Oni Motini. Uh huh. Onimotinik means uh, snow man, snow, snowman. Onimotinik. And you know, you just throw the chi if you want to make snow woman. Mm -hmm. And then you could add onimotinik chi. Uh huh. Onimotinik chi. Uh -huh. Well, would that also be a snow angel? Yeah, it would be Nera Lapu is a good. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Oni. I mean, uh, uh, Nera Lapu Mutini. Nera, uh -huh. Lapu, Motini, Motinik, Motinik, <clears throat> or Motinichi, Snow uh, Angel. Uh -huh. Nera Lapu, good spirit. Nera is a spirit, Lapu, good. Motinichi. Okay, Kaash, what time is it now? Because I don't it's have- It's five. Okay, so I guess it's about that time. But next oh, time we begin, we may, uh, we have time to read the uh, Tasewa story and then go on to we, uh, Wirakashi, the numbers. So we'll be moving on to the numbers and that's fun because you have how to say how old you are and, and all of that when your birthday is and uh, math problems and all of that. So, okay. and the uh, touch ah, the months. So, okay. So, Lati Lapu, Lati Lapu, Lati Lapu, Itashi Kacha, Lau Lapu, Lau Lapu, Lau Lapu, Itashi Kacha. And there's a lullaby for the baby. Yay. Ooh. Famato, Hanine, Hanino, Hanine, Hanino, Ecucha, Famato, Hanine, Hanino, Hanine, Hanino. And you can just like sing it and like make it soft and soft. Before I forget, Mato, huh? Before I forget, uh, I noticed Zoom did an update and they had something called studio audio that will sync everybody. So when everybody's singing, they're all in sync. Good, because we need that. Maybe. Mm -hmm. So we can practice the songs too. I don't know if Liz has already seen it, but I saw it today and I was messing with it before everybody came on. Lapu. I'm going to see if I can find need. a video on it to understand it better. We need to do that so we can all, because I've seen that where people on TV, you know, they're doing that with the Zoom and they're singing. And I was wondering, there had to be some kind of way. So the, the children's song before I go and say, Ekucha pamato hanene haneno hanene haneno. Ekucha pamato hanene haneno hanene haneno. Eku is uh, eku is like the child. I don't know. We don't really know all, the whole meaning of the song, but we know that it's a lullaby, and it was sung by the uh, and uh, the elders. And there are many songs like that, but it is considered a lullaby for the children. So, and you make it softer and softer, and it could put the child to sleep like that to sing it. Softer, mo, mo you talk uh, softer. So, latilapu, lawulapu, apoitin, apoitin, rapumank, rapumank, sweeting, hita, 
Peter, Pikachu. 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 Bye.